Hello folks and welcome LMDE6 filming in 1080 comments are off today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, software sources maybe your mirrors are a little slow and you'd like to know how to switch those there's several ways actually all right so I'm going to close that screen this sh video should be fairly short so the first thing I'm going to open is synaptic and then we can uh, I'll show you some different ways of doing this um, the reason I'm opening up Synaptic just to give you a package count. So I'm using a custom mouse pointer, this blue thing. Anyway, 65,000 plus. Here's your repositories. Now all of these are clickable, okay, and they'll also start contacting different uh, mirrors. So what if you want to pick one that is fast or if you want to pick one that is in a different country. You can also toggle this entry in here. All right, so I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to hit cancel. So I'm just pointing out the fact that this is one way. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do a restore. Okay, 65,000 plus in Synaptic. So in uh, LMDE6, you can install software through Software Manager, Synaptic, Package Manager, or Terminal, if you did not know. So down here is your system updater. I am going to first right click on the panel bar system settings. We can also scroll down to software sources here. If you feel more comfortable doing it from the straight menu, then click that. Software sources, same window. Our user for today is Sam. It's just a made up name. So you can see this is the same box I brought up in Synaptic. There's another way of doing it. So you're probably used to seeing the shield down here. Did you also know you can right click and do a refresh on it to check for updates? All right, let's open it though. Software sources is in the edit menu. So you, as you can see, there are multiple ways of doing this. This time I'm going to let it clock. So when you click on that, allow that to um, run for about uh, 20, 30 seconds, depending on your internet speed your network speed. I'm just going to allow this thing to clock for a couple of more seconds. And again, I can toggle the entry here. And uh, we can also just manually go click and find a mirror, maybe in closest to your country. If you're, you get the idea, I hope. Anyway, so if you're interested in speed, then allow that to clock at the highest speed and then hit apply. And once you do, a blue line appears at the bottom of this window. Your configuration has changed. Click OK to update your APT. So just allow it to do its thing here. You can see what's happening in the background, at least briefly. Mine is done. You can do the same thing with the base, which is uh, generally Debian, the main one. And you can see that it's clocking over here. This may take a while because these are going to all different places. So again, allow that uh, some time. All right, I'm gonna leave this one and just hit cancel. And then I'm gonna close that and we can do a refresh this way. Let's check in your packages. I'm also going to close this window. And by the way, that was that red box was caused by the cursor that I have. It's just an action that it performs. It's just custom mouse pointer. Um, we can also right click and do the refresh here. So you get a half a shield. If you get a dot, there's an update. So what if you want to return back to the standard? Well, then just open this back up. You can either go here or we can just right click system settings and go find it at the bottom of the screen. And then all you need to do is restore defaults and that'll change that mirror back to the standard mint one and hit OK. And allow it to finish. What I would also do is uh, after it does this, now you can see these are the standard defaults is do yourself a favor, right click. You can do this at any time, by the way. If you've ever wondered how you can check for updates right, right away, is to right click on the shield, do a refresh. You don't have to open it. If you got a dot, 
it's there's something that needs to be addressed. Thank you for watching.